This is my opinion. This is my opinion, you know? All of these steps fill my cup. All of these steps float my boat and find my lost remote. And that remote sometimes is lost, you know? Of course, none of this is natural, duh. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I literally forgot to put on my ponytail. This is my hair. I wanted to add an attachment and I forgot. So we're gonna just leave it. <laughs> Fenty has come out with the Ease Drop Stick Blur and Smooth Tint Stick Foundation. Goodness gracious, it's the SEO for me. I bought four different shades to try out to see which one will be a great match for me for foundation and which one will be good for contour. So let's try them out. These are supposed to blur an even complexion. It gives light coverage in a smooth glide stick. Oh, good God. Okay, let's see how light this is. You know, I like a good full coverage, okay? The component is cute, different. We got the stopper. This is the shade 22, deep with warm undertones. This is shade 23, and this is deep with neutral undertones. Shade 24, and this is deep with warm bronze undertones. And I feel like that one will be me, at least I hope, because I like for my skin to look bronze, but we'll see. This is 25, deep with neutral undertones. I hope this one will be a good contour color. So let's figure this out. I done my skincare and SPF, of course. Let's try this out. Here's 22 on the skin. Okay, that could be a good match for a foundation color. Here's number 23. That could be a good match too, because you know that I like for my foundation to go darker. I could rock either of these two. I like that one. Here is 24. I think I can rock 24 too. <laughs> Now that I'm looking at these, I would not want to wear this one. I could make it work lightly around the perimeter of my face. I wouldn't want to wear it because it would be too close to my skin tone. And then when I finish my whole entire face, the whole face would look ashy. I don't like that. I like to go darker and I really could do either of these. Ooh, 24 is the warm bronze undertone. See, that's what I like. And then 23 was neutral. So I can do neutral or the warm bronze, yo. This is my opinion, this is my opinion, you know? Long wear, light coverage, natural finish, so it's gonna give us some radiance, good God. I think this would be a good contour, we're gonna see. This is 25, look at that, delicious, wow. So I'm not gonna go for an exact skin tone match because you know what I like to do, you feel me? Like we know that 20, what's this, 22, would match me, okay? So if you use me as a shade reference, then 22 would match you in a lovely way. I was supposed to actually go to the launch event in August Austin, but it was on a weekday and I just could not make it there. I'm sure they would have matched me with 22. You feel what I'm saying? But I'm not looking for an exact skin tone match. You know that. I'm gonna use 23 another day. I'm gonna use 24 right now because I want that bronziness and I'm gonna use 25 to contour, okay? I'm excited, ooh, this looks good. Let me know if you plan on trying this and if so, have you found your shade? Have you not found your shade? Let's talk about it. This is $35, FYI. All right, let's get my lip primer on, you know, the one that y'all can't find. <laughs> just, just, just do something to start off with, okay? Love a good lip primer, with Lauren. I am digging in this thing, okay? So <laughs> you're not missing out on much. I'm not gonna mattify my face or anything. We're gonna just go right into it. Shade 24, and again, this is the deep with warm bronze undertone shade. And I wonder if I'm taking too much. Wow, it's gliding on. I almost wanted to say it glid on. It glided on so smoothly. And you know, I like to, like when I match myself, it's not gonna match the inner part of my face. And that's okay because we're mixing chemicals here, not literally, but figuratively. We're just putting the whole collage together. Although I enjoy this color, <laughs> I don't like to be as <laughs> warm. I forgot. <laughs> I'm so excited that I just forgot that warm is gonna mean like, <laughs> give me me. <laughs> what I feel is just too much red. Mm, 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 mm. I could have gone neutral. And like I said, I'm gonna try that in a different video. But you can see that this still looks good. I bet you're gonna be like, what's the big deal? It looks great, right? This does look nice and natural on the skin like it's supposed to. It's got a nice glow to it. It's not real greasy, you feel me? It's not real wet feeling or looking. It does feel lightweight. It's almost giving the black opal stick foundations, but I feel like those are more dry. This is definitely gliding on nicely. Just wanted to add some more coverage right here. And I wonder how this will go over the brows. Okay, nice enough. It's giving medium coverage for sure. And I'm pressing it in with this flat Kabuki All Products show listed below, by the way, because I don't want to wipe it too much. I want it to stay right where it is, especially since this is a light to medium coverage product. If you want this to be even lighter, let's say you have some beautiful freckles that you still want to show, or just you want to still see your skin, then don't use as many swipes as I just did. And I'm sure this will look glorious on you. No need to even do a full face with this product, I don't feel. I feel like it looks stupendous even right now. But you know me, girl, we gonna do the whole phase, okay? Mm -hmm. Let's conceal with our LYS Triple Fix Full Coverage Brightening Concealer in the color DPG1. Good God Almighty, it's a mouthful.
This sponge is part of the Alicia Keys skin, what was it called? Concealer tint product that she just came out with. I do have a video on that. So make sure you watch it if you haven't already, if you're interested in seeing how that product looked on me. I do have a beginner's makeup playlist if you haven't seen it, if you're a beginner at makeup and just wanna really get to know the basics of getting started, those videos will definitely be good for you. I'm pinching into the side of my nose and going down on the side of my nose underneath it to make sure that this concealer goes as close to my waterline as possible. This shade is looking natural, good God. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, did this happen in another video? <laughs> I did another video where I used mostly LYS products and I feel like this is the one where it wasn't very light and I want this to show, hellozers. <laughs> oh my gosh. And I always say that depending on the shade of your foundation, your highlight concealer and the lightness of it, may change. So this foundation matches me really, really well, man. As I'm building it up and adding in the concealer, it matches me really, really well. Now this foundation is pretty close to my skin. It's not darker than my skin. I would not consider this to be darker than my skin. So this concealer is not looking as light as it could look if my foundation were darker, you feel me? It does make a difference. And I like to say this as many times as I can to remind you that it does make a difference. I need this lighter, so DPG, what? G G, ooh, <laughs> LYS, y'all killing me. DG6, okay? Praise the Lord, deep golden six. I need this lighter, so let's get a little bit of that right here, okay? Oh yeah, oh yeah. You know what's so nice about a stick tint or stick foundation product, stick base product, <laughs> is that it's easier to transport with you when you're traveling, moving around, whatever. And it's so slim and chic that it can just slide right into your makeup case if you have a small one, you feel me? All right, this is the shade 25 and we're going to contour with it. <laughs> Let's see, y'all. Yes. This is not as deep on my skin tone as the Worthy Deep Bronzer from LYS, but this is certainly gonna show on me. It's just not gonna be as dark. So I would venture to say, if this is the deepest shade, it's a foundation shade, obviously. If you're deeper than me and this is not deep enough, then you may like the Worthy Deep shade in the LYS Contour Stick, which if you needed, you could use as a foundation stick. I know that that's not the most ideal, but it would be a good option for you if you felt like, mm, this is not enough for a foundation, but this might be good for you, depending on your skin tone, for a contour. So here we are blending this in with the Sephora 56 brush. And I like how small enough and like round enough, it's, it's more of an oval, okay? Oval it is enough <laughs> to fit just nicely into this area between the highlight and now the contour, you feel me? And this is good. This shade is natural. And I say that because it's not as harsh as Worthy Deep would be on me. But I say that because I like how harsh Worthy Deep looks on me. I mean, I make it work every time, but this is a more natural contour. Of course, none of this is natural, duh. But I say it in quotes like that because I hope that you understand what I'm saying. It's not as deep. I can make either of them work. And what I'm saying is that if you like the drama, you'll appreciate Worthy Deep from LYS. If you like the drama, but like don't want to do too much, you're going to like this, okay? Let's get some of this down the side of the nose, baby. Yes. Oh, hold on. I need some more. So let's take some from the top of this component and diffuse it behind my hand and then let's apply. And it still is showing, but in a good way, okay? It's still showing in a good way. I'm lightly brushing this up and down. I'm not pressing this into my face too much because my first time using the product, I want to know how pigmented it is and I don't want to go too far and now I have to reverse things. You feel what I'm saying? But here we are pointing it at the tip of the nose, bringing it. I love my contour to be right inside my brows in the very front, okay? That makes a humongous difference. Even when you put your crease color, the eye crease color, if you've seen my videos, I bring it down here, because then it connects to this contour color right here at the brow, and it makes it look wicked dramatic in the best way, not in a crazy wild way, in my opinion. The butt of this Alicia Keys makeup sponge, or Keys Soul Care, excuse me, makeup sponge, and then we're blending that out, right? So that there are no harsh lines. Ooh, 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 ooh. What do you think so far? You gotta comment and let me know, honey. You gotta comment and let me know. All right, now this is an LYS 
translucent setting powder. The shade is Resilience. I want to bring some yellow, some oomph to my under eye because I need this to pop more. So I'm not gonna use that one today, but I will use this banana shade, same company. Ooh, and in a different video, I fell in love with this brush they have. This is for the concealer, but I'm not gonna use this for my the actual liquid concealer. I'll do it for the powder, okay? So making sure that we don't have any harsh lines here. Keeping the eyes squinting like this, taking some of the product. And ooh, I keep forgetting that there are brushes in these components. And here we are. Going right here first to just tackle all of that. Before I now come and set everything again with this Huda Beauty Luminous Press Powder and the shade Medium Tan. And this is a Sephora 79 brush. I don't like how the shape is right now of it after I washed it. I'm so annoyed. I gotta get a different brush. But you know, we're still getting it right in this area. Let me flatten a little bit. So if you need to, manipulate your brushes as needed. Pressing it down this way, it flattens it a little bit. You feel me? And we're just applying this in a check mark fashion because it's going to give us that frosty, you know, well, luminous, really. Luminous highlight under the eye. This is the Sephora 59 brush and we are going to use the LYS. It's not LYS, okay? It's LYS. Powder contour in a shade worthy deep. This is gonna deepen it up, you know? Not that I need this to be deepened up. I just want it to be deepened up, but feel free to leave it just like that and then move on to your next step. Do what your heart desires, you feel me? And I'm always doing my heart desires. Praise the Lord. Ooh, look at me. I'm so excited I'm skipping steps. Ah! Simone, I forgot while I was setting everything to <laughs> set the other parts of my face. <laughs> Did you catch it? Were you concerned? Were you confused? You need to comment and let me know because I know I sure the heck was. I'm like, why do I look like that? Like, why isn't under here defined? Well, I hadn't done that part. So back to the Banana LYS powder. And this is the Sephora 79 brush. All links are below if you're interested. And it's not gonna make a dramatic difference, but it's gonna be a difference nonetheless. And I can see it and maybe you can too. Too. If you can tell, comment and let me know, baby. We are still gonna set this face, even though this is a luminous powder. And I said this in the LYS video where I use mostly most of their products. This is a very forgiving powder, meaning you can go into this 85 times and you still won't have reached a threshold where you're like, whoa, I use too much product. You feel me? In a way, I guess that means that it's not as pigmented, but that's not a bad thing. I think it's a good thing, okay? Because you can work with it, especially if you're a beginner. Watch that video. You, you'll see what I was what I was telling y'all, okay? Face powder, we're gonna do Kosas Cloud Set in the shade Velvety. Okay, praise be. Cause yes, I do apply a face powder over my products that are just very important to me. <laughs> what? Bring it all together, especially this highlight over here. And you can be thinking, well, one, why do the highlight? Cause then you can skip this step, but I don't want to. I want to do all these steps. All of these steps fill my cup. All of these steps float my boat and find my lost remote. And that remote sometimes is lost. You know, it really is. And all of these steps really, really do make me happy. Do you see it coming together? I still want the highlight under the eye to show, you feel me? I was a little zealous on this side because I got so distracted by all this hair. When I do my blush, let's see what happens because I can see the differentiation from where I, maybe you can see it still. Like I can see some hairs right here and it's making me feel like there's a shadow there. I'm just so distracted. I got to shave today. <laughs> Gotta do that. I didn't get to try this LYS blush when I did the other video. This is the Higher Standard Satin Matte cream blush in the shade Passion. Let's try this, honey. Back of this Key So Care sponge. Is it Key So Care? I think it is, okay. Pouncing some of this, okay. And let's see the pigmentation. Lovely, again, forgiving in the sense that I'm going into this so much and not a lot is coming out. If this were the Dennis and Myricks product, it would be a different story. Her stuff is very pigmented, great for pro artists, and Amateurs don't mean it in a bad way. Regular people like you and I, well, not me, just you, just kidding, <laughs> kind of. Anyway, great for regular people. <laughs> who don't take clients, who don't work in movie sets and theater, who don't need the extreme color payoff. This is great because you can dip into this a few times and see if you like it. And if you don't go over it with something different, you feel what I'm saying? It's gonna give you that time to be able to do that. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> While being love, buddy, okay? This is giving me a soft payoff, but I won't lie to you. I want it to show, I don't know, I don't know. On the camera, how does it look? I feel like, I want more. This is bothering me right here. Do you see that? I'm so irritated. 
that doesn't often happen to me. I don't want to say never, but it has been a while since that crap has happened to me. I'm so turned off. <laughs> Let's try to fix that because that, if otherwise this is going to be a problem for me. I'm going to take that brush. This is a Sephora 79 brush, flatting it like this. And we basically need to go like this to fix it. No, I can still see the hair. Oh my God. I do have a scar there. Don't be alarmed by that, but it's like, it's not, <laughs> Let me just really not my best. <laughs> mm, I need more blush. It's not bright enough for me. I guess I'm gonna add some pink to this. I have not done pink brush in a long time. This is color, what? Sephora, why do, they, why do they do this? It's called Sephora Colorful, but what is that? Okay, <laughs> hey, jealousy, I'm so irritated. Y'all just confusing me a little bit. Okay, is this gonna be too much? Bless God. <laughs> I might be giving too much pink today. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, wow, okay. Let's do the eyebrows and let's just, let's just make some progress here, okay? See how the finish look will come out. Charlotte Tilbury. Brow Cheat in the shade Natural Black. All right, now we're gonna do the eyeshadow look. I'm gonna go with my everyday soft glam natural makeup look that I love to do. I've got several videos where I'm showing you how I do exactly this. I'm gonna use this Huda Beauty eyeshadow palette. It's called the Chocolate Brown Obsessions. And we're gonna start off with the crease color. As you can see, I like to put this reddish brown in the crease and also under the eyes. And then on the lid, we're gonna go with this chocolate brown color to do a brown smoky eye. And then in the inner eye tear duct, I'm gonna use the Milk Color color chalk in the shade Jump. I just love how this gold shade makes the eye pop. It just looks delicious. So for eyeliner, I'm gonna use this L'Oreal Infallible 36 Hour Gel Mechanical Eyeliner. And because my nails are so long, links are all below, I can use this to <laughs> isolate out my inner eye. And I am gonna smudge this. Ooh, I got a <laughs> blink, wow. I wear contacts, so it just got a little fuzzy for a moment. What in the world? It got dry is what happened. Good God. And now, it actually, this one's smudged on it its own, but let's get this eye to smudge, okay? A little more drama, a little more smoke. And then right above the eye line up here, I'm just putting it on haphazardly. I no longer want my eyeliner on the top to be precise. Those days are over. Just give it a good smudge and then we're gonna go over it again. The back of this has a rubber. I haven't found success with this always, have I? Let's just use it. Hell, it comes with it. And look, we're just gonna go over it, you feel me? I normally use my flat liner a brush from MAC, but this is good. Let me stop. I'm gonna use the stuff that these people give us, you know? This black isn't looking very harsh. It almost looks gray. What shade is this? Hold on. It's called Intense Black. Maybe I didn't press it hard enough. Oh my God, let me highlight my, you know, certain places with this Rare Beauty Flaunt Highlighter, excuse me. Finger, don't need too much. I could use the sponge, but let's go with the finger. I have more control that way. Right there, down the middle of the nose. Gotta get right here too. It looks so good once I do my lip. And then right here, more under the lip, okay? Boom, 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 I love this Fenty mascara. I don't want to put it on my top, situation though, like, hold on. Not me, not me giving you a ponytail. <laughs> Let's do this Sills, what? Sills booster? Is this a Sills booster? Long comb, what y'all talking about? Am I saying that the wrong way? I'm so annoyed. Is this an actual mask? Good God. <laughs> It is a base, it said that, and here I am like, mm, okay, what does base mean, okay? It's the white that you put on before the mascara. I don't, that's not my vibe right now. I'll hold on this. I've never tried this mascara before. This is from Gen C. What is this, good God. Spectator Sport Mascara. Gosh, this font be so small. What y'all trying to do to me? This wand is really pretty, okay. Although we are gonna put on lashes, we still need mascara. I put that on before I put on my lashes because like what? I just can't, I, like I just can't. I like to reuse my lashes and for that reason, intentionally putting on mascara and letting it touch my false lashes just bothers me, I can't do it. Mm -mm. This is not, no. This is not doing anything for me. If I just wanted to put on mascara then I, and I didn't care about the results, this would be fine. Th like, no, this is a no, this is a no. But the good thing is that I applied it on my top lashes and we are gonna use falsies, so it's not gonna show, but I still like to see something when I apply the mascara to my top lashes, you feel me? Good old AliExpress lashes that I've used for at least five years, honey. This is D22, honey. These are my tried and true, baby. And some some of them be real full out the gate. I tell you, they're the same number, but they be looking different sometimes, you feel me? Kiss I Envy Super Strong Hold Lash Glue. This stuff is good.
My nails are long, so it's making this pressing process a challenge for me. And this is where this Revlon, this one's not Revlon, but Revlon does sell this. I'll link it below. This half lash curler comes in because boom, you feel me? It gets the job done when my nails are so long because the pressing of the lashes makes a huge difference. That's when you basically mend them together. Otherwise, you're gonna see that gap, you feel me? You don't want that. On the lower lash, I'm gonna do this Fenty Beauty. I love this one, hella thick, oh wow. This stuff is good. From the first time that I used this, I was shocked. The fibers that this adds, the volume that it adds, insanity. And for lippy, I'm gonna use this LYS Speak Love Smooth Glide Lip Pencil, and this is the shade Devoted. Okay, I almost wanted to twist it, there's no twist. But I've used this once, so the harsh point is already gone, and this does glide on nicely. I love this shade, what? I want to twist it. <laughs> Black on brand Sephora, this is so good. I wish it was a twist up. I don't like having to sharpen stuff, you feel me? This shade is so good. If we can get a twist up LYS, that would be phenomenal. And this is the Makeup by Mario Baby Coral. What? This is the Makeup by Mario Plumping Lip Gloss in the shade Baby Coral. Well, let's try this. Ooh, wait, what? Hold on. Oh, it's more sheer than I need. This is not what I was going for. <laughs> I like the color, but it was it's too, it's too sheer. I wanted more payout because, you know, I have the darkness on my lips, which I love, but when I wear a lippy, I want it to be gone. That's the whole point. I don't do sheer lip products, unless I'm wearing a chapstick or a lip gloss when I'm at home, you feel what I'm saying? Oh, I wanted this to be more pigmented. It's cute though, what do you think? I wanna go in with something lighter. Some of this white stuff is my gray hairs. I'm annoyed, anyway, okay. <laughs> I'm not thrilled with this lip, but I think the face looks phenomenal. It looks healthy, it looks rejuvenated, it looks revived, it looks delicious, it looks satin. It doesn't look wet, okay? Because there have been some foundations that I tried that look wet, and that is fantastic if you have dry skin. This, I feel, could still work if you have oily skin because, I mean, I have combo skin and I enjoy it. If you have really oily skin, perhaps you won't. I think it's worth a shot for the price point for this, the beauty of it all. If you're a Fenty stan, you're gonna love it. You're gonna at least wanna try it out. If you try something out from Sephora and you don't like it, girl, return it. Like, I'm gonna return stuff that I don't like, so don't hold on to something that you don't like that you can't, you know, that you can't use. I think that it's definitely worth a shot. I love the look. The lip is just not really lipping for me, but you comment and let me know what you think about this whole thing and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.